guys, guess who's back with a brand new video? We're gonna start off with brows. I'm using a medium brown brow definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is just a really easy go-to brow because I just feel like this pencil just makes life easy with the angle and everything and it just goes on super smooth. And I'm just gonna fill them in as normal, doing little short strokes. And then I'm going to set them with the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia, kind of combing them upwards so they're nice and defined. Gonna conceal with Tarte Shape Tape in light neutral. And I'm using a flat brush. A similar one is an E15 by Sigma. And I'm just going to bring this down towards the eye and blend it out and then just blend it out with my finger. Going to go into Painterly with a MAC 286 and I'm just going to buff this in. I just got the P. Louise um, primer so I'm so excited to try that. We're gonna be using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette today. I'm gonna start off with Orange Soda and an E65, I believe this is, or an E35. And I'm just going to put this all over the eye, focusing it mostly on the upper brow bone and the crease. This is just going to be a somewhat transition color. And then I'm gonna go in with Burnt Orange with the same brush. Just gonna go back and forth in little windshield wiper motions and little circular motions, just buffing and blending that in. And I'm just bringing a little bit more dimension to the eye. Using a MAC 221, I'm going in with Sienna and we're gonna start focusing on that crease, the upper crease, where we're mostly going to cut, because we are gonna do like a cut crease halo. And I'm just going to blend this back and forth lightly kind of padding almost too because I want to have a nice seamless blend with the transition color and I'm just going to go back and forth with the other brush as well and just make sure everything is blended. I'm going to go in with Mulberry and just start darkening things up and I'm just doing this padding motion because I want it to focus on that upper half of the crease where you see that line is there. And I also do this to like kind of put the color exactly where I want it. So I sometimes I lift my eye to do so. And I'm just using a Sami 2.5 just to put a little bit more orange soda just to blend it out a little bit more. And just buff it. And I'm going to take the same brush and I'm just going to go in with Mulberry and just follow that halo line where I really want it to be sharp and deep in color. I'm going back and forth. You know, this is a pretty long process, but you know, I'm just packing on as much as I desire. And then I'm going in with Noir and doing the same motion, focusing it on that halo area on the inner and outer corner padding, doing little circular motions, and then just going and buffing it in as well. And I start very, very light with this black because it is super pigmented. And then I just gradually get darker and darker. And I know a lot of people get annoyed when like I'm covering what we blended, but without that blend, these colors would not uh, blend well, you know? So I'm taking an E58 from Sigma and some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I think this is light neutral again. And I'm just gonna start to cut and clean this up a little bit. And I'm just gonna start to make that little halo sunset shape where it looks like literally sunset on the water. And I'm just gonna buff it in. And now I'm going in with Sultry, which is such a gorgeous color. Same brush. And I'm just going to pack that on and buff it out. Going all the way up to that little line. And then I'm going to go back in with Noir and just kind of smoke it out. Make sure everything's nice and seamless. 
I'm going in with this Lip Detail Brush, a Noir, and just sharpening that line up there where the cut is. Just making it look a little bit more deep and dimensional. I feel like this just really adds to it. It look, just makes it look like there's so much more to the eye. I forgot what number this is. I will look into that. And then I'm using this tiny little brush and I'm taking rose pink and I'm just going to highlight the top of that and then just go down the center. So it really looks like a sunset. I guess that's what I would call this, a sunset halo. If it was a, like, a term. I feel like that's what I would call it. Sunset halo cut grace. I know, it's a lot of things. I'm gonna go in with Tarte Tartus Mascara, of course, because it's just my favorite, creamiest one that I've ever used. Doesn't flake, it's just a great mascara, and I feel like everyone should have it in their little kit. So I'm just going to put that all over these lashes, and then I'm going in with GDBA Lashes in 2T. These are my favorite lashes right now from my brand. You guys can use code SUBBY in all caps and get 20% off. The link is below. I'm just going to pop these babies on. They are a clear band, so you can wear them without liner, as I'm doing so right here. But there is some dark blue on there, so that's why it looks pretty dark, the band. But uh, I'm just popping those on. I'm going to use the Glam Glow Water Burst found a, a moisturizer, and I'm just putting that all over. And then the Pores No More by Dr. Brandt Primer, which is awesome. I'm using the Tarte Hydrating Shape Tape Foundation, which I love. Um, I believe I am in um, medium tan honey. And this foundation is so nice because it has insane coverage. You will see I'm using a Smoothie Blender Brush by Tarte as well. And I'm just blending this in, buffing it in, but Look at the coverage, number one. Number two, the do is just so do-ish, dewy. It's so nice, and it's a really nice surprise because it's hard getting a dewy foundation to cover, and this was really nice. I'm using a Becca Under Eye Corrector. I think this is medium to deep, and I'm just going to pat that with my ring finger or my middle finger. I don't know why I like my middle finger better than my ring finger. I don't know. And then I'm going in with Tarte Shape Tape in medium because we need to conceal those under eyes. And I'm just gonna kind of highlight the whole area. I dampened my little quickie blending sponge and I'm just going to blend it upwards on the nose and underneath the cheekbones. Going in with Fawn Contour Stick by Anastasia. This is an Anastasia day. And I'm just going to contour. I figured um, why not just stick with one brand. And I have not used this foundation or this foundation stick, contour stick, whatever you want to call it, for a while. I think I used it for a little bit and then I just like moved on to something else. And this one's pretty good. It's got a gray tone so it's really just for contour. You're definitely going to need to bronze up afterwards. But it does the job. It does. It's very, very creamy. It blends really, really nice. And uh, I'm just using an IT Cosmetics blurring brush to kind of just blend that out. Which I was looking for to put down below, but it apparently doesn't exist anymore. But I know that Sigma has a really nice one that's like a concealer buffing one. And I'll put that below. So I'm just going to blend that out. And then the nose, obviously, I just do it with my fingers, and then I just touch it up with the brush a little bit, just to kind of buff it. Now I'm going to set with Locket Translucent Powder. And I still love this powder so much, just because it's lightweight and it covers really nice. It doesn't leave any uh, white cast either. And then when I bake, I just feel like it's not too heavy. Um, but I have an RCMA powder that's just sitting in my drawer and I need to try it out. I know I do because everyone keeps yelling at me too. And I know I have the Patrick Star one that I haven't tried yet. What do you guys think of that one? I'm curious. So I'm just bronzing myself with the KKW Beauty Contour Kit in medium. And then I'm just going to take an F37 and just kind of buff off or take all of that excess powder off and just blend out the whole face. 
Now taking Peaceful Blush by Tarte, using an F10 by Sigma and just putting some blush on those cheeks because we needed some color. And then I'm going to take Sienna with an E30 by Sigma and just kind of buff underneath the under eye. Buff is my word today, I guess. It's because I need new words to like describe things because sometimes it just ends up sounding like the same thing over and over again, you know what I mean? I also took Noir and just lined it very, very lightly underneath as well. And then I'm just going to put some more mascara on I'm using Hyper Real Glow in Flash and Awe with an M501. I just mixed all those colors together and ba bam! This highlighter is my favorite right now. I haven't even touched the Amrezy one yet. I don't know why. Is it good? Is it not? We don't know yet because Shiana has not tried it. So I will be doing that probably tonight because I need to do that. Putting this in the inner corner as well, the flash and all, I just mixed all of them together and I'm just putting that in the inner corner, make sure it's popping. And you know, why not some more highlighter on the nose as well and on the cupid's bow and the chin. Spraying Fix Plus in Rose because it's just my favorite right now. For lips, I'm going in with Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color by Rimmel in Rosetto and I absolutely love this formula. It's so creamy, it does not dry my lips out completely, like where I'm like, you know, dying basically. But they are so nice and I love this color and the way it came out. And that is it you guys, I hope you have enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I know I haven't been around, I will be around, I promise. I have another video ready for you guys, so yeah let me know what you guys think of this look down below let me know what you want to see next and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and thumbs it up if you've enjoyed this video i love you guys so much bye